What's going on you guys? This is Anthony here from Finding Our Adventure. And today we're gonna to be reviewing this beautiful Coleman Even Temp 3 Burner Camping Stove. is a fantastic propane camping stove that puts out 28,000 BTUs of firepower. So these stoves come in around the same price as my white gas camping stoves. And I personally prefer the white gas stove. However, over the past couple years, after going and camping with my family, most of them have been running setups like these. So this stove is Coleman's flagship stove here. We're gonna open this stove up take a look at it and show you why I might actually start using one of these instead of my white gas stove. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up here. There's a little red tab. Take a look here, beautiful stove. So in a pinch, you can use one side as a nice tray for food, the other side uh, as a windscreen. With this stove, you do get your attachment here for the propane fuel, which is a quick connection on the right-hand side of the stove. And just like that, it's connected. What's nice about this stove versus the white gas powerhouse 414 that I use is number one, you've got dials for both burners. I can kick this one fuel on a quarter. I can kick this one fuel on a quarter, light it up with a piezo igniter. Piezo igniter on all three units. And so I can cook with varying amounts of simmerability. I can cook both on low, medium or high or vice versa. So. This offers a lot of flexibility if you're cooking meals that really need temperature adjustment. Another thing I love about the stove is it's a little more lightweight than the white gas stove because you're not carrying a big fuel tank and um, the fuel is all separate, obviously. It's also nice because ease of cleaning, you can remove the grate. What I've found with my white gas stove, when you lift the grate up to clean, if you bump the stove or something, the grate will fall back down onto your hands. Also, this unit is very serviceable. I could take the burner heads off quickly if I have an issue. So I can take the burner heads off like so. I can remove the piezo igniters quickly with a, a, a quick screw. And I have access to the internals by removing a couple of uh, Phillips head screws. Where this stove really rocks is the light up procedure. Compared to a white gas stove where you need to prime the tank with fuel, pressurize it, you need to pre-soak, light up with a lighter, leave it in the up position for a minute, turn it down. You gotta watch the flame to make sure it's not sputtering, all that stuff. With propane, it's way simpler. You just turn the stove on a little bit, hit the piezo igniter, and the stove is lit up. I can do the same for the other side. Turn the stove on, piezo igniter, stove is lit up. Do the same for the center stove. It'll just light up on its own or you hit the piezo igniter. And now I have all three stoves going on high. Simmer control is really nice, so I'll open this up just to crack. And you can turn the stove down to just a very light simmer. You could barely hear it on right there. Or I can crank it up. And that's putting out some heat. I can't even put my hand within like a foot of that without burning. Now lighting the center stove, you do have to have the other burners lit in order to light that. But once you turn the other stoves off, the center stove will stay on. And so what's nice about this is, even with this maxed all the way open, I can bring my hand real, fairly close. This is gonna be great for warming up a pot of coffee, keeping food warm that you've already cooked. So this little addition in the center is fantastic. I absolutely love it. The dial controls on this are really nice. You've got a hard stop and the piezo igniter is very fast, works very nice with a AA battery that is included. The stove offers great wind resistance on three uh, corners of the stove. It has a great cooktop although I would love to see a bit more slats involved on the, gr the um, grill top here. Okay, so with that all being said, let's talk about what I like and what I dislike about this stove. What I like about the stove is it's lighter weight than the white gas stove. It's easier to cook with than the white gas stove. It is so much better at fine tuning the temperature range on both burners. Also, it has a third burner in the center. 
so you can theoretically keep other things warm that you maybe wouldn't be able to do on the white gas stove because you have two burners. In some cases, propane might be more readily available in certain urban areas, so that might be a benefit to you as well. And overall, for the family camper who isn't into the old school white gas mentality, this is just overall easier to use. The negatives with this stove and propane stoves in general, number one, you can't cook with these stoves when it's below freezing, at least not on high power and not for the length of time specified on the box. It's just not going to happen. The propane tank pressure is just too low and it's not gonna be able to fuel these valves with enough pressure to cook on high. Another downfall is you're gonna to have to bring more fuel and when I say more fuel, I mean that your fuel is going to take up more space in your vehicle. One jug of that white gas stove is worth about five canisters of propane. So when you're stacking that in your car, those five canisters of propane are gonna take up way more room than that one canister of white gas fuel. Do note that one of those tanks will last about roughly an hour on high. On my white gas stove, all I do is I take the tank out, slip it into two slots, and it's in ready to run. With this, I have to come in here and screw with this valve and screw it in and out, and it sticks out awkwardly. Another point of contention I have with Coleman is, dude, give us a couple more threads so that we can screw this in. This is insane. You have to jam your fingers right into the stove just barely get enough of a grip to tighten that thing down i mean barely i've got pretty thin fingers and if you're a chunky fingered fella or lady you're gonna have a tough time screwing this thing on tight you're gonna get it onto the threads okay but once you start threading it in it's gonna get real tight in that area Let's bring you in and show you that and as you start screwing this in you realize you're gonna start running out of real estate real quick it starts getting a little tight and it's not even tight yet i don't know about you guys but do you consider that enough thread at the size of my thumb it's like not even half of my fingertip maybe like a quarter of my fingertip can get onto that it's a little ridiculous okay another issue that i have with the stove is the closure why they went to a plastic closure i have no idea but it's garbage you've got a red plastic closure here the other white gas stove has a nice metal closure with a lock it doesn't close perfectly all the time you see i just lifted it easily there so you gotta really make sure it's in all the way, otherwise the stove will open back up as you can see. So you gotta really click it down into place. You see how forceful that was. And what do you know, it still comes undone every once in a while. So not super stoked on that. That's, that's not super cool. So if there's two upgrades I'd like to see on the stove to make it perfect, it'd be get rid of this crappy plastic closure mechanism when the rest of the stove is made out of metal and to include some grates here. And they need to definitely add some knurling on the end of the uh, propane tank adapter. I think it's a little ridiculous that they don't give you a lot of room to spare there. So a couple of upgrades could really make this stove primo. Am I gonna swap out my white gas stove for this propane stove? Definitely not. I love my white gas stove. I love cooking with it. It works in all temperatures and conditions and it's never let me down. It is an old school system that's easily repairable in the field. I love the old school technology. I love the old school white gas stoves and I'm gonna remain using those, but I'm definitely gonna keep this in my arsenal for that weekend camp trip close by, warm temperatures with the family when my wife wants to cook and she doesn't wanna screw around with the white gas stuff. If you guys wanna pick up this stove, I'm gonna link it in the description below. I would appreciate your support. It's no extra cost to you, but it does help benefit me and to buy more products and review them on the channel here. Thanks for watching. This has been another video from Anthony here at Finding Our Adventure. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next adventure.